to help us do that, there are focus points for each month. Sometimes the themes are going to take a period of two months, others only one month. We are a bit late because we want to journey together as a diocese. That is another aim of the Synod, isn't it? Working together. So we are supposed to get the materials from the pastoral office so that when you leave here and go to work in Narok, you are more or less going to be on the same page. So we are supposed to get materials from the diocese. They have not arrived. But even before they arrive, we already said in our parish that we want to have Bible classes. Bible study. And this is going to begin whether we are in church or the virtual classes one of us has proposed, that is going to happen. So that is the schedule for every month. Father Mama Ujao went to Akumi. The question now is how are we going to do it? We know that we have a unique uh, situation in our parish. One but those who are in Jumuyas are a very small percentage. Isn't it? Yes, we continue telling people to join Jumuyas, but not everybody occupies Jumuyas. If we begin online classes, again, not everybody may have internet in our homes. So what we are going to do is that every Sunday, we are going to set aside at least 10 to 15 minutes that will focus on an aspect of our catechesis so that everybody can be carried along. It may be, therefore, that the sermons will be more brief, or you may spend a little longer time in church. But I think it is for something good. There is always a an experience we have whenever we go for a bash. You know, tell me a party, can it be a wish? Everybody is a one. <laughs> that is even the time with the music. Wakili hata sema kwamba we want 
you know, a lawyer's association in our church. We have now the opportunity to interact and ask those questions. So when we come to the juniors for us, or you have called us to the CWA on your last Sunday when you are meeting, you know, ask the catechist, ask the priest. We are going to have a big one. Let us know when you want us to come and address any of these topics. And don't send us a message on Saturday at 11 p.m. A father Kesho, who don't forget to use the place of many in the church. You know, I also need to prepare. Not that I do not know, but I want to come before you prepared. So, sir, so please let us know uh, whenever we come to the Jumias and you want us to address any of these issues, we are very much ready to do so. And then the third avenue will be those online sessions. Once in a while, whenever possible, we can organize something. It is very hard to get everybody together at the same time. But the advantage is those sessions can be saved so that you can follow the management. See? Very good. And with the communication skill that we have, I think that is doable. Just roll down the uh, engine. There are some things here that already touch on our various uh, responsibilities. For example, when we shall be doing family life education, we already have people in our church who are members of couples of Christ. Couples of Christ. We may call upon some of you to come on board and handle some of these topics. They don't need to be taken every time by a priest or a catechist. And even from the experience we have had today, there are so many talents and professionals among us. And we don't need to go out. Very good. I think uh, there is something around the fire as a liturgical, liturgical ministry. That is something that is really targeting the choir. And we don't need to wait until October. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it is upon the leadership of the choir. Since you already know that this is something that is going to touch you and your ministry in church. Organize as soon as possible a priest will come or a catechist to come and address that matter. So, sir, I think that is all about the year of catechesis. We are going to roll it out as soon as next Sunday or the Sunday after. At every mass, some time to address a topic or an aspect of that topic. Thank you very much.